Hi everyone, welcome to Back to School Night. My name is Mrs. Menard. If you need anything translated, please follow the steps you see to translate in YouTube. I am the Math 7 teacher on Team 7. I love math, I love teaching math, and I'm super excited to have you all here getting to know us a little bit better. I am the Math 7 teacher on Team 7. So your child has been chosen to be on the team, um, and I am very lucky to teach alongside a dedicated team of teachers, Mrs. Vestal in History, Mrs. Lyons in Language Arts, Ms. Ackerman in Science, um, along with our counselor, Ms. O'Donnell, and our administrator, Mrs. Levin, who dedicate ourselves and our time to our team kids. We are very focused on getting them the best that they need. Um, we have a lot of data that we collect, a lot of time that we dedicate to talking about your kids. Um, so in addition to meeting with our content teams, math, science, language, arts, social studies, we also meet together as an interdisciplinary team to talk about our kids and see what support they need, um, social, emotionally, behaviorally, academically, so that we can use that data, that extra data that we get from being on the team to help your student reach their, their highest level of success. That being said, we can't do what we do without you. So part of being on the team is having a lot of communication home with you all so that we take the data that we get to have as an interdisciplinary team of teachers and communicate it with you so that we can help your student reach the highest level of success possible. I'm very excited about partnering with you all this year. This is a little bit more about me. Um, I love teaching math, but I actually was not good at it growing up as hard as I tried and as badly as I wanted to. Um, I was really lucky to have an accounting professor in college who dedicated a lot of time to me and helped math make sense to me. So then I, in turn, um, have been very lucky to become a math teacher and kind of pay that forward. I have a fantastically wonderful husband, fantastic son, Jack. He just turned seven months old. Um, love my little family. This is my third year teaching at Glasgow and my 10th year teaching in general. I've lived all over the place. Um, my favorite season is fall, perfect weather in my opinion. Um, and I love coffee. I will frequently have a cup. Um, my day just doesn't begin without one. In terms of being on the team and taking Math 7 on the team or pre-algebra on the team, depending on what your student is focused on, um, we truly believe that students learn best when they take ownership of their learning. They are responsible for their grades. They are responsible for their work with our help and support, of course. Um, they are supported by a strong community. Um, that's another really, really serious focus of the team is building that community. Even though we're virtual, we still build that community. Um, we celebrate growth and success. We truly believe that um, our kids work really, really hard, but they deserve to be recognized for that. Um, so we try really hard to celebrate their, their growth and their successes. Um, but we, we need our students and our teammates to meet us halfway. So that means that they need to engage and participate in classes, paying attention, turning on their microphones, if we're asking them to be in a, a Google slide, be in that Google slide with us, um, accessing and advocating for supports that they need. So um, emailing us when they're confused, asking questions, coming to our office hours, and looking for and responding to feedback. So we give them lots and lots of feedback. We need them to check their emails. We need them to look at that feedback so that they can improve and become better, stronger, and smarter. In terms of the math they'll be focusing on this year, uh, rational numbers, fractions, decimals, and percents, proportions and linear relationships. So um, looking at how uh, we can calculate like growth over time. Um, if someone buys five tickets that cost $10 each, how much will 30 tickets cost? That type of relationship. Um, real numbers and exponents, so um, we won't be focusing on scientific notation as much, but um, 9 to the third power, things like that. Um, expressions, equations, and inequalities, so solving for an unknown variable, um, less than, greater than, equal to, functions. Um, for example, in a vending machine, you push a button and you get out what you pay for. That's an example of a function. I push A1, I get an orange soda out. Triangles and quadrilaterals, a little intro to geometry. Probability, um, what is the likelihood that an event will happen? 
data distribution, so comparing what different types of graphs look like, how graphing um, can represent or misrepresent data. Uh, so really learning how to analyze graphs and make them as well. And then surface area and volume, looking at cylinders, rectangular prisms, uh, tissue boxes, cans of soup, um, and then learning how to measure those things. Really excited this year. How do we grade? Um, we have formative assessments, summative assessments, different feedback, and homework. So um, formatives are kind of like smaller assignments, just quick checks for understanding. Do they understand what's going on? Summatives, bigger con concepts. Uh, think of those as like unit tests. Um, other feedback, so especially in like strategies, for example, students will get lots of feedback on um, email etiquette and organization and uh, intervention time, things like that. Asynchronous, that's homework that we give them on Mondays. Uh, we go over that every Monday in Panther time, and then they take it and work on it together or work on it independently, I'm sorry. Um, in terms of that strategies for success class, uh, we do a lot of enrichment, a lot of intervention, um, and really cool opportunities that they wouldn't otherwise have, doing competitions and doing college and career readiness. Um, community service, talking about leadership and skills that they need to be successful in high school, college, beyond, whatever they choose to do in their life, making sure that we are starting to give them the tools necessary and building on the tools that you give them at home um, to help them be successful. In terms of support from me, um, we have, all team teachers have office hours Mondays at 10 a.m. Um, if you that does not work for you. If you would like an appointment or a student will like, your student will like an appointment, you are welcome to email me. I'm happy to make an appointment with you. Um, that's just, I find that a little bit easier to make an appointment outside of that 10 a.m. time if that works best for you. Um, I also have the Google Classroom set up. Make sure you're checking the grid for Blackboard. Um, and my email is down at the bottom as well ways that you can support your child at home. So like for real, you are the most valuable player here in terms of your, getting your student what they need. Ask your student. We will hold your student accountable 100% as much as we can, but we need your help too because we're a team. Um, so ask your student, what are you learning in class? What are you doing? Hey, can you show me the grid on Blackboard? Show me what you have in your Google Classroom. What are your assignments right now? Um, communicating and constantly asking is going to be huge in terms of making sure that your student is advocating for their work, but also getting it done and becoming better, stronger, and smarter. If you have any, if you ever see something that you're confused about, you want clarification, you're not sure what's going on, email us. We're happy to help you. Um, in terms of supplies, there's a Desmos app. That's the cal that's the calculator program that we use. Um, there's a Desmos app online that, or uh, through the app store that you can download. Uh, there's it's also on the laptop, but I find that using it on the phone is a little easier in terms of juggling all the virtual stuff. Um, pencils and pens, something to write with. Uh, their agenda to write down assignments and keep track of work. Some sort of paper or notebook, um, because especially with math, it's really helpful to write things down and then transfer them to the computer as opposed to trying to do every single step on a computer and make sure that they have their computer. Other than that, super excited for a great year. Um, really, really grateful for the opportunity to teach your student. And I'm so excited to partner with you this year to help them find their best success. Have a great day. Take care.